everyone, this is Polygon Wizard, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we're going to take a look at the progress I've made since the last episode in laying out roads and such, and we're also going to work on putting a fountain in the town square in front of our castle. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, as you can see, it's nighttime here in Polygon Wizardville Town whatever we're gonna call this place we have to come up with a city name um if you guys have any suggestions please put them in the comments because i haven't been able to come up with any good ones yet that aren't really super dumb or cheesy but if you have any cool ideas for the name of what uh, our little fantasy city town is going to be called and i like it i shall definitely call it that we might have to make like a town sign or something somewhere to put the name but anyway we can figure that out later give me suggestions please but I've done a lot of work since last time, and you saw a little bit of it in the intro, and a little bit here at my feet, but I want to turn and show you. Check it out. It's amazing what giant trees will do for uh, making your place look awesome. So what we've got over here is I forced a couple of big trees to grow. And then this one was just this part. I added the part over here, added some branches, changed the trunks on the bottom of these. And I also have one over here as the sun rises and we get pretty, pretty colors. And this is the same thing. You can kind of see the trunk came down, I think, yeah, right here in the middle, straight down. So if you just force a giant tree to grow and then change the trunk a little bit, you get what looks like a custom tree but it's the easy way now, i've shown this to you before but just in case i don't have any dirt but basically what i do is you catacorner your thing you put your sapling right here the torch is the sapling and then on top of the dirt blocks uh, i don't think it actually has to be dirt necessarily but for the way i do it it has to be because i put flowers here but i think it just has to be some sort of an uh, item like that like a torch maybe even might work I've not tried but definitely flowers on top of dirt blocks here catty corner around your saplings and you can either wait forever to let it grow or you just spam it with a ton of bone meal so if you don't have lots of bones on hand you can still kind of do this and just wait this is one of the methods that will force giant trees to grow I used to do like a stack of about four or five high of cobblestone or something with torches on it but I don't like the kinds of trees it makes as well, and it also gets in the way where sometimes you have to replace leaves and add leaves back to it. I also added a little gate here, kind of like a guard gate, so if you have some sort of festival or something going out here in the town square, you can just have someone standing here like, no entry! <laughs> it's pretty simple, but I, you know it works for the type of thing I was going for. I also, here, let's just go across the bridge real quick, added a road down to our portal room in the same style as the other roads I'm doing, and I put a little bit of a retaining wall. I can't put it on this side of the block as well, unfortunately. I might try something different in order to do that, but it doesn't bug me too much. I put it on the sides that you see the most. But yeah, we can walk over here and go straight down in. I might get rid of this hump. I haven't decided yet. I could just do some slabs or something. But I also want to put some supports under here. Because I don't want to fill it all in with dirt or sand. So it's be kind of like they needed to build a road and they had to support it somehow. But didn't want to build like a full out bridge or something. That's my idea there. But I tried a few different road designs and this is the one that I liked. It's simple but... I like the darker color of the nether brick. It grounds it really well. And I think once you add other details around, like some lamps here, like these, that I'll probably add more of them around all the roads. And we got like a, well, we got our actual fountain here. And maybe put some shrubberies around different places. And we have actual buildings. These roads will fit in. Whoops, just nicely. Just don't hit them with your super pick. 
<laughs> so let's see I've added lamps to the existing kind of railway up here and I think this makes for a nice framing for our castle here with two giant trees I've also which you might have noticed with me running around hopefully you can see this in the video the string here underneath some of these vines so they don't grow all the way to the ground I don't have all of them yet because I don't have a ton of string so I wasn't able to do all of it but these tree, this tree, and this tree, all three have a lot of the vines here have been stopped with string to this point, but we'll just wait for all the vines to grow and any of the ones that get unruly, we will chop them off. I also added here a little bit of a fountain of water and I tried just on my little dirt placeholder here, different water flows from the top. And so I think we're going to try to do some stuff to make the water a little fancy, but we also need to build actual fountain part too. We don't want it to just be dirt. That's just gross. Ugh. Uh, speaking of dirt, let's grab some from one of my work chests here. Uh, there we go. That's where I put it. Now I'm going to stack up again like I did at the end of the previous episode so that you can see what the roads look like from the air. this is fine. So as you can see, I've got the brick borders for it part way out, but then I've also dug in the nether brick paths for all of it all the way around to there. And then there's going to be a bridge down and I still have to make the road through here. I didn't do that because I was just doing other things bouncing around. I got into the tree building part and didn't do more of the roads, but I ran out of brick. So I need to mine some more. I think I have a little bit here or there, but not enough to really just build tons and tons and tons of stairs required to put the curb on all these. So I just need a little bit more road through here and the bridge and another bridge and a bridge. So there's three sort of bridges. This one over here is a little weird because it's at an angle. There's not really a good way to do a straight bridge. And then this one's sort of angled, but I might change how that works. We'll see. Angled bridges are tough to do. They're much easier to do straight ones like this, but I don't know. And then I've got a little road up here that we'll also have a bridge over to where we'll have some trees thingamabobs. You can also see what I've done with lighting around our big trees here. A few spots I put torches underground with leaf block over them, flush with the ground so that there's not just torch spam everywhere. I'm going to do that sort of everywhere in city as soon as it's more finalized so here is closer to finalized so i did that but over here we haven't built our buildings yet i'm just leave the torches for now same with pretty much everywhere else i kind of need to do some pathways around our stables here i want to put some sort of dirt and gravel around tie it into the roads a little bit so you have a pathway to the door and maybe just because of all the trampling from the horses, it's more dirt and stuff out here instead of grass. We shall see. But that will tie it in a little bit more. And I might put a tree or something in there too. I think I want to get rid of all that little water in the corner as well. Maybe we'll put some hay around. I don't know. But I need to do some decorating of that. But once we get more of the de details in places, that's when the torches go away for beautification purposes. I'm a little low on steak. You can also see what I've done with the uh, cows and the sheep and stuff over there. And then like a, you can tell it's a little wing. That's where I put the rabbits that used to be down here. They're all blocked in with, uh, I think I did stone brick and cobble just to make it look kind of nice. I'm not going to keep it there. It's just there for now. And then on the inside, there's fences. That way they don't get out. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get back down and we're going to take a trip over, let's see, right here, just past these trees. We're going to grab a horse and ride over there and show you the ice tray that I have that I did not have time to show you last time. So that will take care of all of our touring needs and business that we have yet to do. And then we will get on to building a fountain. 
Alright guys, let's see. I'm gonna grab a lead. Uh, don't need a saddle because I'm just gonna use this guy. See? Auto closes. <laughs> when I've been working around here, let's see if there's one lurking. No. There's been rabbits around and they keep walking over these gates. Luckily they haven't let a horse out yet. <laughs> So yeah, here we go. Here's our rose. It seems a little bit narrow when you don't have the carob on it, but it connects up here. Got to do a little bit more terraforming. I left it there because I know I have to put extra layers for the brick anyway. So this is what I was talking about with how I've fenced these guys in for now. So far they haven't gotten out, so it's nice. The few cows I lost, I have bred them back up. And then we're going to have a road out here. This style of road is going to be different because it's going to be the country road. So it's going to be more of like dirt and gravel type stuff or maybe some stone paving, but nothing too super fancy. And then this is where I'd originally marked it out with cobblestone. My path up here. All right, horse, come on. <laughs> of course, I put the cobble right in the way that I normally ride up. So it was a little more difficult. Horses are so nice. Alright, see, we've got a fence up here already. You are not going anywhere. Alright, this is my ice tray. Here's a button, which I can show you later. But if you can look carefully, you see there are dispensers under here. They all have water uh, buckets in them. And so when you hit the button, I've got a signal that goes around the side and because it does this wrapping thing, the water fills itself in and it fills the whole entire block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this ice and then I'll be back with you guys to show you how it works. to show you what this looks like. Here's all the ice I got. Ding. Let's put that down there. Wait, nope. Stacking up time. So it's pretty much the ice tray design that uh, Shizuma Void put on Hermitcraft this season, except like half the size of his. I believe it's half the size, um, but anyway, he had some pistons pushing up stuff in the middle also that I do not have. Ooh, gets a nice view up here. Let's stay up here for the sunrise. But anyway, uh, he used a few different materials, but it's pretty much just logs into furnaces or something. I think he's used piston, but I, I use furnaces in the middle and then we got dispensers on the side, which we will do in a second. But first, let's take a moment to appreciate our custom sky again. You can tell in the video in game you know some of the clouds and things have pixel lines and stuff but it doesn't really matter because it's really really pretty let's eat some steak before we go down yeah i built this a little while ago i just didn't have time to show it to you guys in the last episode with all the different stuff that we were i was trying to catch you up on there we go back to a stack now let's hope this works i've tried it a couple times so see, it runs along this edge and then that edge with a couple extra bonus ones. And then in the corner, they meet enough that it just automatically just whoop. Whoops, I need to do this too, I forgot. Crap. Okay, that ice is not over a block. I could have, if I was better at redstone and cared, I would have wired it to where it did a, like some sort of double pulse under here so it just send along and then what the thing does is it sucks the water back into the bucket so that you can see it's filled again but now we have water everywhere and it looks pretty cool 
So if we wait up here long enough, it'll all freeze over like we had a bit ago. And we get a whole bunch of ice, which I already have like another full load from this tray. I have more ice than I could possibly want. Unless maybe I'm going to use some ice in some tunnels or something that I haven't thought of yet. But for now, we're going to head back to town that direction, and we're going to start building a fountain. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit while we do so. I have no plans. I've not designed this to start with, other than that dirt that you saw. Um, let me up. There you go. Yeah, you can just see some of the stuff out there in the fog from up here. It's pretty cool. Seeing the silhouettes back there. You can even see the new big trees that I planted. That's awesome. All right, let's go back to town and get some fountains built. All right, guys, we're back here in the town square, and we're going to make this dirt fountain prototype into a awesome not prototype. <laughs> I've got a few different materials here. I've got some brick stuff. I've got some quartz. I've got a couple glowstone. And so we're just going to play around here and see if we can get something that we like. So... As I'm recording today, I just finished off uh, doing my taxes. I don't know about, you know, other countries and stuff, but the U.S. taxes are due by mid-April. So I'm a little bit early, but not super early being done. And it feels so good being done with that finally. Plus, it feels extra good because I'm getting a refund back. So if any of you have ever uh, been in that position... <laughs> where you do your taxes, all that paperwork and annoying stuff. And then, let's see, let's do blue here. I just wanted to put a little bit of color in the floor of this fountain, just for fun. There we go. So yeah, you go through all that paperwork and the hassle of finding all the things that you need to finish off doing taxes properly but you weren't remembering exactly where you put it. <laughs> and you go through all of that, and then you finally get it finished and all sent off, ready to go. It's a pretty awesome feeling. All right, let's... We don't really have any good, nice, bright purple blocks to match, like, our banner, you know? So I'm using red and blue because I can't. <laughs> It'll look a little bit different underneath the water, but I wanted something super bright and crazy, so that's why I'm using the lapis and the redstone. I have plenty of each. Definitely way more of the redstone, but that's pretty awesome. Now, let's see. I'm going to put my workbench down. We might do something different than the stone here, but I'm keeping it because I like the brick for the road needs to be there, so let's put down a bench. I'm going to do a little bit of crafting of stuff here. All right, I've got both of the others. So let's try something here. On this side, we're gonna use that. Is that gonna be big enough? Sure. This is gonna be quite messy because it's not like a cohesive idea going on here. It's just throwing some stuff down to see what I like and see what I don't. I wish I had another there, but we'll just leave the gap. For these five, let's do something crazy. Let's place them this way. And for these five, we'll place them the other way so that you can just walk right up into the fountain. All right. It's becoming nighttime. Yeah, I'm really excited to be able to play Minecraft again. Because I've been so busy that I hadn't really played much of it until this last episode. Like, even though there's a lot that I showed you guys. Hmm. Let's see. It was still only done over a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, but like eh, maybe over a month of start and stop playing. But it hadn't been like, you know, full three months or whatever it had been between episodes. Alright, I'm thinking that the quartz for the outside just doesn't work, and I don't like how the stairs are here, and that's not going to go well with the water either. So let's flip those the other direction. 
I'll make you a chiseled one as well. Yeah, I think just based on everything around here being made out of the greys, I need to stick with the brick. But there might be a way we can make this more interesting. Instead of staying with just the stairs, let's go every other one with this. So it ties it together. Ooh, I really like that. I think we're going to stick with that. So... When I don't have any plan in place already, this is kind of fun to do for a small project like this where you can just play around a little bit. Even though you're not in creative, it's still almost as, uh, whoops, I didn't need all those, quick as creative if you just have yourself a limited palette of ideas like we've got here. And let's get rid of these slabs. We'll use quartz at some point somewhere, so these will be uh, handy to have. All right, I think we've got the outer ring finished here. And I like having a bit of a walkway so that people can be out of the way of traffic, but they can come up here and relax by the fountain, maybe sit down, read a scroll, I don't know, magic book, <laughs> and throw coins in there maybe if they wanted to. So now we just got to figure out what are we going to do with this in the middle. I think these are going to be stairs. So it doesn't matter what's underneath them. Because that way it feels like we've supported the base. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glowstone here in the middle to light things up. And then so we don't cover it up, we'll use a cobble wall. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Okay. And you finish this up. What else do I have? Stairs and slabs. What if we put... Because water's going to flow over this part here. Alright, I need to make more of those, which I don't know if I have stuff to do with, but uh, we've got a little smooth stone, so we can make it. I don't think it has enough weight to it. What other materials do I got? And site. I've got some iron bars. That's just, yeah, it's not going to do anything for us. All right, let's make the other slab so we don't have the dirt that we're looking at. And then up there, we need something for it to flow out of slash off of. We could just do another block or block stone wall here. Like it's piping or something. Let's see what that looks like. It's not super duper fancy, but again, we don't have the water on here yet. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And see that one block of glowstone lights it all up in here rather nicely. I don't know. All right, well, let's try putting some water in here. I know some little weird tricks that I want to do to get it to flow a specific way from playing around with it already. So let's try this. By putting that dirt on the end, it doesn't flow through this block as well, so it leaves this empty. So we could leave it like this, but I think I'm going to try something else as well. So let's grab some more water for the option. That's pretty cool looking. We could add to the outside of this here instead. What this looks like? Okay, upside down. I mean, that does look kind of cool. Although I don't know 
doing it that way with out a solid block to leave that gap in there. You don't see it a whole, whole lot. You probably can't even see it on the video very much, but there's that gap underneath. I think we might go with that, but what I was going to do is, let's see, let's get dirt. So I'm gonna go there. you. You dirt. So that gives it an extra bit of shape to the water. Let's just try that in other place too. So we get sort of the two sides version of that. If we don't like it, we can always remove it. Placing some dirt there. It doesn't leave any room for the water to be level in the bottom, which I don't mind. Give me that dirt. I don't know. Let's go back and look at the plainer, less water side here. I do like how you get to see more of the water flowing here and part of the center. It's kind of cool. Hmm. I'm undecided. All right, just for being crazy, let's try something else. <laughs> Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, we do need to come up with a lighting solution, so I might put some... I think I'll put some lighting here, some lamps or something in these corners. That should do it just fine for this center circle. We can do that. Whoops, let's not do it on the side, duh. We'll try here again. Just flow sideways. Oh, a block update means it'll do that again. Alright, I think we've decided that that's not going to work. I did warn you and say it was crazy. Alright. Uh -oh. Let's look at this side again. Yeah, there's just something about this that's shaped cooler that I think I'm going to go with for now. But you guys can let me know whether you prefer the more water or the less water version of our fountain. not even add source blocks on the bottom because it gives it a lot more fun shape to it. Alright. Let's just do a little fountain circle here. Yeah. I like how that looks. I really do. Now that I'm seeing it complete, I'm thinking that the other one now, it, it would feel like there was something missing to me. So I think it's not the fanciest of fountains. It's not super big, but I think it's a nice centerpiece to this little courtyard area. And we can fancy it up a little bit by putting some lighting down here, but I think we're good to go. So let me quickly add some lights down there for you guys so that you can see what it will look like, and then we'll be done with the episode, I think. All right, guys, this is what I came up with. We've got not too many differences since you last saw it a couple seconds ago for me a few minutes, but I added some lamps in the corners of the fountain outside here, and then I just did a little bit of a checkerboard between our stone and our stone brick here. So that kind of ties this a little bit together to where you don't have a little bit of smooth stone here that you're seeing, you're seeing snow stone brick can't talk <laughs> all the way along the edge but then you still get a little bit of that extra difference in here to makes it look a little bit fancier because we've done something other than just one straight material so i like it 
I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I think this is where we're going to leave off for this episode. I'm not sure what I want to do next time. We will probably be doing one of the buildings. Maybe whichever one catches my fancy, that's what we'll do. So we might build a little shop or maybe the tavern or something. I'm not sure yet. I'm sure I will also do a lot more work on the roads. Maybe we'll do some bridge building. I have no idea. We'll just see what inspires me and hopefully it'll be something good. So until that next time, I hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you then. Thank you.